just a moment, I will explain the index for the Brebeuf hymnal. But first, you'll need to understand how most hymnals place the index. Most people grab the book and flip through all the pages at the end, desperately hoping to find what they need. Let's consider a recent publication called Hymnal for the Hours. Notice the index doesn't come at the end of the book, and this is not atypical. Some books have as many as 130 pages after the index. This index is almost impossible to use because, as you can see, the numbers are all out of order and have no reference to title, translation, tune, and so forth. Let's consider another popular hymnal by Dr. Theodore Marier. To find what you need, you must open the front of the book. After you locate what you need, you have to turn all the way to the back of the book and watch out because there is a double numbering system. So 603 is on the same page as 613, and 604 is on the same page as 623, and 612 is on the same page as 626. For the record, the Brebeuf hymnal has a single numbering system to avoid such confusion. Here's a recent book by GIA Publications. Again, we must go to the beginning of the book and find what we need. Tune index, topical index, index of first lines, and so forth. Then we must turn to the very back of the book, which, by the way, has no page numbers. One more example, a Protestant book called the New English Hymnal. The user must carefully locate Roman numeral 17 to find what is desired, and most people will not take the time to do this. To make matters worse, the page numbers are tiny Roman numerals, such as XLVII, which some might find confusing. Now, about the Brebeuf Index. All you have to do is open up the very last page and it tells you exactly where to turn. This is precisely as a normal person would hope for. There's nothing strange about this. The creators of this book anticipated people would spend a lot of time with the index because it contains so many hymns. That's why the index itself is located in the center of the book, because it's quite annoying fumbling around with pages located at the very end of the book, and there is even a danger of tearing. If you've ever seen an altar missal, you'll notice the Ordo Mise is always at the very center of the book, not the beginning. 